Hey, good morning. Guess what? It's me. Yeah, I decided to do the children's message this morning. It's the last one we're going to do on Sunday morning for a while. I'm not sure how long that'll be. But anyway, I wanted to take this opportunity to do one of the children's messages. So it's good to have you here, kids. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully your family is, is here together. Um, so I have the opportunity to share with you a little bit of something from God's Word. So today's reading in the Old Testament is going to come from the, the uh, book of Jeremiah. And let me read a part of that. And this is the prophet speaking, and, he's, um, and here's what he's saying. Your words were found, and I ate them. And your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Now, wait a minute. He says, your words were found, and I ate them. Now, what does that mean, he ate them? I mean, how can you eat the word? Well, let's see. Here's my Bible. I don't think so. That's not going to work. So how can I eat the word? I got an idea. How about this? This will work, right? I just stick it in there and let's see here. Nah, it's not a very good idea e either. It's going to be a big mess. So I'm not going to do it that way. Well, let's see here. Um, I know. I'll do it this way. I'll write it on my hand and then I can see the word all the time and I, I can lick it, right? And then it can be in me. So here we go. God's word. Oh, I ran out of space. Here we go. There we go. You can't see that, but it says God's word. But that doesn't really work either because, you know something? You can wipe that off. Here we go. Look at this. Doesn't take much to wipe, wipe it off. It's all gone. So, huh, joy and delight. It's something that tastes good. So what tastes good that goes inside of us? I know. How about this one? Bread. Bread tastes good. Oh, I've been smelling this, and it smells so good, this bread. Oh, it's good. And you know what? It's something you eat, and it's something that goes inside of you, and it tastes good, and it's a joy and a delight. But uh, what has this to do with God's word? Well, Jesus says, I am the bread of life. He's a bread of life. He comes and he feeds us. He feeds us his word, and we hear about salvation, and we, we are uh, blessed by him. We're blessed to have life. So reading the word is like, you know, taking a bite of a, of a piece of bread. And let me tell you, there's, there's some great ways to, uh, to get fed by God's word. Let me show you some. One of them is if you have an adventure Bible or kid's Bible. You can read it or your mom and dad can read it to you. Um, sometimes people will have this at home. They'll have a book like this, 100 Bible Stories, and that's another way of, of getting God's Word. And here's, here's kind of a fun way of hit, getting God's Word, watching a DVD video of Veggie Tales, and this one is talking about Noah's Ark. Those are all different ways of God's Word coming inside of us and blessing us. Let's pray, shall we? And you pray after me. Dear Jesus, your Word is life. And your Word gives us life. It's so great to read about Jesus Christ. You are a blessing to our life. You're our only way to salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, it's been great being with you. God bless. Have a great, great day.